these eyes have seen the horrors of war. With its shadow once again falling across Europe. Thousands of people gathered in solemn reflection in Ottawa to honor Canada's veterans and remember those who made the ultimate sacrifice. This was the first National Remembrance Day ceremony without restrictions since the pandemic began. And it's a great day. Look at the people that have come here. They, these people have never forgotten. His name was Ted Elliott. Lawrence Elliott came to honor his late dad, Ted, who stormed Juno Beach on D-Day. I thought, wow, could you have actually done that? I, I think about myself at 20 and I don't know what I would have thought or what I would have felt. At the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, the flag that represented Canada during the Second World War. This one recovered from the beach in Dieppe, France, after that bloody raid now 80 years ago. This year's Silver Cross mother laid a wreath for her son, Byron Greff, the last of 158 Canadian soldiers killed in Afghanistan. And there was a tribute to the recent passing of Queen Elizabeth, a veteran herself. The purpose at its very essence is for freedom. Freedom, an ideal which to this day is being fought for. In the crowd, reminders of a war raging overseas after Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Every morning I wake up and hope the war is over. The knowledge of what is happening there, a heavy burden here. <clears throat> when I think of all of all the young people who died. That pain and loss felt by generations, along with the unusually warm temperatures, encouraging Canadians of all ages to return together in remembrance. Olivia Stefanovic, CBC News, Ottawa.